Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mogi Beth, and I know it has been an incredibly difficult last couple of weeks. And these are very trying times for everyone, but if you're like me on a small business, it's definitely times that require some resourcefulness, some scrappiness, and definitely some serious problem solving skills. So today we're applying that um, by doing an alternative form of sourcing, which is closet clean out. And y'all, I don't mean the Poshmark promotion that happens every other day. I'm talking about cleaning out my own personal closet so I can sell those items over on Poshmark, over on eBay, over on TradeZ, and over on Mercari. So I've got wine, chocolate covered <laughs> pretzels, um, and we're gonna jump into it. My personal closet is a hot mess and I'm gonna show, go through like certain categories with y'all. I think I'll start with dresses and then I won't drag you through the whole dang thing. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a little haul and show you what I'm selling and uh, get that stuff listed. So very exciting. How I'm deciding on what to keep and what to get rid of is I basically have thought about my life and I wanna tailor my closet around my life. And I think so often I have these kind of dreams or these kind of fantasies of where this outfit could go and it really doesn't fit into my life. Especially a lot of like party dresses or special event dresses like Literally, I go to weddings and posh fest. Those are the only special events I really go to. And usually when those happen, I want to wear something that I purchased recently. And usually it's something that I thrifted or, you know, purchased over on Poshmark. Just having a bunch of like special event dresses and wear in my closet really doesn't make sense. But anyway, there are three basic kind of categories I'm allowing myself to keep. One is like the everyday kind of loungewear and that's kind of what I'm wearing today. My overalls and like a Madewell ribbed long sleeve tee. This is kind of like what I clean the house in. When I go to work in some days when I just feel like being lazy um, and not putting in a lot of effort. And then I have my more cute outfit which is the second category and that's I usually kind of wear those when I'm shooting YouTube videos or I have plans with friends or I just feel like you know putting effort into my look that day and then my third is my workout clothes because I just got a mirror so I did my first workout in months today it was a 15 minute workout so you know whatever but I became instantly obsessed with it so I'm so 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 excited anyway so I'm gonna show you all dresses Maybe I'll show you one or two other categories and show you my decision making on why I'm keeping certain things and then I'll do a haul tomorrow and show you what I'm listing. If this motivates you to go through your own personal closet and source from there, then cheers to you, cheers to us. We're being resourceful and we're making the best out of this very hard situation. But also tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see what you are selling and what you have found in your closet to sell. But yeah, so let's get started. Okay, um, okay, we're gonna start with dresses. I got my mirror here. Let's go. Okay, y'all might have seen this dress in one of my hauls. Gosh, I don't remember which one anymore. But I decided to keep it. It's an and other stories dress. The size tag I realized has been cut out. So to figure out like what kind of size it was, <laughs> I tried it on and I ended up loving it, but I have yet to wear it. But I think this is actually a perfect uh, cute day dress. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Okay, this is a vintage romper. That's really got this really cute, you know, Hawaiian vintage inspired floral print. Here's the vintage tag, all that jazz. It's like 90s, 80s brand that I actually really like that brand some of their stuff is really cute but this is actually super flattering but I've had it for such a long time it's a great cover-up piece to the beach I guess I'm gonna keep it for now this is my best and most trusty cover-up to the beach so I'm gonna keep this too these are all my beach clothes because I had to do so much laundry before this video and I just went to Mexico which I'll pop up pictures here for my Instagram. And I was wearing this in one of the pictures and I love, love, love it. So keeping that. Okay, this is something that I was going to sell but it has a hole in it. And this, as you can see, is like this embroidered, like bright, like mint blue and then this royal blue on top of black, which is kind of cute. Like I like this whole um, color scheme right there and it's free people. It's a cute dress. I could easily mend the hole and it's not even noticeable when worn. Here it is. But I think I'm gonna 
try to sell this one. I don't know, actually when I was wearing it, I was like actually loving it. It's really perfect for the beach. Maybe I'll keep it for my next tropical vacation. Okay, we're not off to a great start. <laughs> Okay, these next two dresses I recently, well, next three dresses I recently purchased, and so I know I'm gonna keep them. Or I didn't actually purchase them, but I decided to keep them. This is Scotch and Soda. I love this dress, but I need to steam it because the arms kind of shrivel up. But I love the print on this. It's very bohemian inspired print, and it's got a very kind of 20s silhouette because it's got this flounce hem on the bottom, otherwise, a shift dress. Really, really cute, and then it has the lace-up detail and then a ruffle there. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping these two. This is one of my favorite brands right now, Ghani, and I actually got this dress at a consignment store to resell, and then I said cute for myself. I know I said I didn't, I wanted to get rid of blue, but this is kind of an exception to the rule. I really like this beautiful, like, midnight blue, but it has a little bit of a green undertone, I really like that dramatic floral print. And then I bought this for my vacation. I This is Finders Keepers. It was sold at Anthropology, And I love this dress. It's got uh, oranges on it. And orange and pink I think is such in green. I think that's such a really cute color combo. It is a little small on me, but I love it. Okay, here, here's an item I know I need to get rid of. I thrifted this and sent this into the real rail thinking they would accept it. But it's a Moschino jeans dress. And it's new attack. I think this is actually... I don't know. It might be vintage because someone was selling on their Etsy as... A vintage piece like from the 90s but it's really cool it has this ring hole cut out um, at the base of the neckline and it's this really pretty shimmery metallic fabric with the lettuce hem so it's, it has a very 90s feel even if it's not 90s but y'all when am I gonna wear this basically never and it really doesn't look that good on me it very it's very clingy and that kind of like type of clingy or body contrast it's not for my silhouette, so this is going in cell. I need to sell this. That's going in the cell file. Okay, this is another one that I actually have some of these for sale in my closet. I think I have maybe two more, but I got, bought these. They are, this is Anthropology Maeve. I bought a bunch of these at, I think, I don't know, some discount store. And so they're like new without tag. And so I had so many that never sold, but they're actually starting to sell now, which is cool. I, I, I really like it. The print is so cool. It's like this full, really pretty floral. With, I love this like coppery orange color with the black and then this silver embroidered on top. But I don't know really when I'm gonna wear a one shoulder jumpsuit. Like I took this with me on vacation and I don't really see it happening again. So I think I might throw it back up on Poshmark. <laughs> Here's another item I bought to resell. I might have even included this in a video, I'm not sure. I bought this at Nordstrom Rack to resell. But then I noticed a flaw, and now I can't even remember what the flaw is. But this is a Madewell maxi dress. Um, maybe there's not a flaw. I just was like, oh, I really want to keep this. Oh, yeah, okay, here's a flaw. I think this is what it was. It's this tiny little stain on the back. I could totally get that out. That's really not an issue. Okay, I need to just get that out. Um, but this is Madewell, and it's new with tags, so I can just get this out, the stain out, and list it. So, I honestly... Don't see myself wearing this, but it's really cute. Next is this. I bought this to resell as well. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep it. But I actually really love this. I think I'm gonna keep it. Lovers and Friends. It's really cute, just mini dress with this button up detail on the front. Um, and even though it's blue, which is not my favorite color like right now, like I said, it's just so flattering. And I love the gathered puff shoulders on this dress, so I'm gonna keep it for now until I can replace it with something similar maybe in like a different colorway. This is a really beautiful dress. I bought this to wear at Posh Fest, which I really could have, but then it just never came into fruition, but it's, I thrifted it. It's a vintage crochet maxi dress, and I think it's really gorgeous. It's got all this floral crochet detail, and here's the vintage tag. So I think it's really, really cute and it would be, I think it'll be great in the summer and I just haven't had a chance to wear it in the summer so I'm gonna keep this. 
Okay, this is a dress I am 100% gonna try to sell. It's um, a denim long sleeve shift dress from Madewell. It's not a good look on me. It's actually, I wear it all the time to travel in whenever I go on an airport because I can just wear this with leggings and it's really comfortable. But I don't really like feel fabulous in this dress. I kind of, I'm over blue, like I said, and I'm over this dress. But I, I loved it when I bought it. And I think when it's new, you know, new for somebody else, they'll love it too, so. All right, here is a dress that I wore this to a Poshmark, like little brunch meetup that I went to in Houston, which was so fun. I'll like insert a little photo here, but I literally haven't worn it since. Um, I think just because it's like a weird cut on me, it's got this deep V-neck, which I don't think y'all can really see on the camera. And just the way it hits like my whole upper body is just kind of like doesn't it's not very flattering to me it makes my already broad shoulders look even broader but i love it it's this really beautiful embroidered gauzy fabric and it's a maxi dress so i think it'll be really really cute for somebody i think i'm ready to let it go this i actually really love this and i think i'm gonna keep it so i'm kind of including jumpsuits and overalls in this but this is Free People as well. I do really love wearing Free People. Um, and it's a chambray kind of jumpsuit. It's such a great layering piece. I love this kind of apron top, a square neckline. Um, and then it just buttons on the side. I don't have like really good blouses to wear under this though. And so I never end up reaching for it. I don't think it's this piece's fault. My blouses are just like really lacking. Like I need more tops, really cute tops in my life. And also to wear this, you have to steam it and it takes forever. Um, and I have, I'll show you my little steamer. I bought this little Jiffy steamer. I'm gonna, I need to get Jiffy to sponsor me at some point, but this is the personal size steamer that they sell. And I love my Jiffy steamer. And so I was like, okay, I want one for home too. And so I bought this little one and it's great because I can take it traveling with me. Um, but also I use it for my personal closet as well. So love it. I'll link it down below. And just so y'all know, if you ever see anything in any of my videos or are curious what I use in my reselling business, I always, always, always have a link down in my description with my Amazon shop, shop, I should say. It's my recommendations. Um, I think it's amazon.com slash shop slash Mogi Beth. Pretty sure that's what it's called. I'll put it up on the screen here. And because I get questions from y'all all the time, like, oh, wait, where can I find certain boxes or where can I find whatever? So it's always there. I actually have some resellers, Amazon shops, like in my bookmarks on my browser. And I just keep them there so that I can give them a little kickback when I want to purchase something that they've recommended to me. So just a Wait, nice way to support one another. Okay, this dress is vintage. I'll show you. I don't even know the tag. But I got it in Japan. And I love, love, love this dress. It's not the most flattering dress. And so it's definitely kind of like an oversized statement dress. But in Tokyo, like in this neighborhood that we stayed in called Shimokitazawa, we there are so many vintage shops and a lot of them sell American vintage pieces. So there must be, and I'm, I've heard from people, like especially buyers in LA that buy specifically for like these Japanese thrift stores, especially in Tokyo. So I loved it there. Oh my gosh, just some of the best vintage stores you've ever seen. And they just line the streets. There's tons of them. And then there's tons of cute coffee shops and pancake houses like they really love American pancakes but they do them completely different like they whip the egg whites into the batter and there were these big fluffy pancakes anyway <laughs> I'm obsessed with Tokyo and I cannot wait to go back and so all the clothing pieces that I bought there I absolutely love and I think it's because they are just so connected with a memory that I cherish but I I love this um kind of tweed fabric I think it's really cool the texture is really interesting it's just a really really easy dress to wear because you can just throw this over some leggings and it's a really cute look so I'm keeping it for now okay these are a pair of overalls that I actually recently purchased on Poshmark, recently, like a couple months ago. They're Pilcro in the Ladder Press, which I know I've told y'all, I don't really sell them much anymore, but I think their overalls still are worth selling. Yeah, I bought a size 27 because I keep thinking I'm a size 27, but 
Apparently I'm not. These are way too big. Like I honestly think I could wear like a size 25. They're massive on me. So I'm gonna have to list them. And I think I actually just maybe do wear a size 26. I just don't really buy clothes often enough for myself that I have updated that. I don't weigh myself, so. Okay, I think my camera cut me off, but anyway, back to it. This was one of my favorite finds of all time. This is a very vintage Madewell find. Like, I mean, I don't really know exactly when Madewell was first launched, but this was like one of its very earliest productions. You can see it says Madewell there, and then it says New Bedford, Massachusetts. I found this like three years ago. This is overall dress which is really cute, it's like a midi length, the dark wash, and I really love this dress. I thought I would never ever get rid of it. I thought it'd be like one of those pieces that I kept forever, but I never wear it anymore. But I am gonna try to sell it and we'll see what happens. I think it's such a cute dress. All right, y'all. This I wore to Posh Fest in 2018, and it is a gorgeous dress it's alice and olivia and when i wore it i like left the price tag on <laughs> so i wore it for a few hours so i was like i don't want to take it off but i'll probably i'm definitely going to disclose that i wore it but i really love this very moody floral fabric and the construction of this dress and the silhouette of this dress is so cute it has these really cool like razor back back with an exposed zipper and um, a really deep v cut i think there might have been a waist tie with it that is missing which is probably how i was able to acquire it for the price i did but i actually originally bought it to resell and then decided Decided to wear it to Posh Fest and thought it was so cute that I wanted to keep it originally retail for $4.65. I'm probably not gonna wear it again. So it's been sitting in my closet for two years now. Time to let her go. Time to let her go to a new home. Okay, I have I forgot about this. This whole bin of summer clothes, I guess. Uh, it's Marie Kondo. If y'all don't listen to her or have ever read her book, I've read the book and I've also listened to the book several times. The life-changing magic of tidying up. Love it. Would have recommended 10 out of 10. It's a great listen to, it's a great read, especially during this time of year. Very calming, it's very intentional. It's like a very intentional way of living your life and that's what I wanna do. But anyway, within it, uh, she says that you shouldn't have a summer and a winter wardrobe, you should just have one wardrobe. So that's been a hard pill for me to swallow because it's kind of a ritual of mine to like, change out my wardrobe with the different seasons so i don't know maybe i'll switch over to what she says but um i have a few dresses in here this is a dress i actually came across in the thrift store recently and passed which <laughs> goes to show that it's a very very old anthropology dress i've had it for ages and i've absolutely loved this dress it's that old mave tag that i told y'all never pick up um, and I love this dress. It's, I think, just so cute. I wore this to my sister's uh, rehearsal dinner. I wore, I've worn it so many times. Black and white strapless dress. And I don't know if I ever had straps, but I've definitely lost them now. It looks like it did have straps at one point. And, but the real big issue with this is that there were some, like, boning in the top here to like hold it in place but then it came out i've decided to let her go i think i'm just gonna donate it because i looked up comps when i found it in the thrift store and they were really bad so it's really really old loved you her time with me is done it's been like probably a decade that i've had that dress okay i think that's all the dresses i own which honestly isn't that many and i think i need more dresses because dresses are so easy to wear and i love wearing them but i never i don't really have that many and especially like easy casual everyday wear dresses when i had like maybe five a lot of them were summer dresses that i can't really wear during the winter so that's something i'd like to change in the future i think i'll do one more category and then i will turn the camera off and show y'all tomorrow what i decided upon what should we do next tops sweaters skirts let's do tops okay i obviously have way more tops than dresses this isn't even all of it okay let's start with these like summery tops i have here this was a top that i I bought on Poshmark a couple years ago. It's Anthropology Mave, and it's really cute. It's this kind of uh, fun printed crop top with a collar and these wide sleeves, but I think I am, it's kind of fun, right? I think I'm kind of done with this. I wore it when I was in Thailand and Tokyo, and it was really fun, and I wore it the last couple summers, but it doesn't really get me excited anymore, so I think I'm gonna sell that. Okay, I've had this top for a long time. I kind of think it's so 
fun. It's like this vintage top from the 90s, Teddy Petite, and it's got these ladybugs and sequins and then this like <laughs> funky little ribbon. But I think I'm ready to get let this one go and I'll probably take that over to consignment or Goodwill. This is a top from, it's really cute. From Anthropology, it's Vanessa and Virginia. That's the brand, if you can see it. Um, I was so obsessed with this when I bought it because it has has these really beautiful embroidered cutouts. Um, it's fully lined. I mean, honestly, like I'm looking at it on the screen and I'm like, gosh, that's so cute. But it's very, it just really doesn't look good on me. And I don't feel good when I wear it for some reason. I just don't think it's like a good cut for me for some reason. I don't know. It's it's just, I think I'm going to sell it. Like it just does not bring me any joy anymore. And really the same goes for this top. I think that's the thing is like, I just don't really like the tops I own. It's not like I don't own them. It's just, this is La Vie by Rebecca Taylor, which is, um, some people love selling this brand. And... It's this really cute billowy floral top. It's this blue and green flower print with these big billowy sleeves, which is really in and really cute. I think you can wear this off the shoulder or like this. I usually wear it like this. And I like this top because it's got this really big oversized bow, but also looks really good tucked into high-waisted jeans. But, and I like that it's cotton. I'm really big on cotton, but um, because it's blue or something, I, I just really, it brings me, so a little joy now, so I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, okay, I bought this from Anthropology a year or two ago. The brand is Rana Gill, which is sold at Anthropology. It's a great brand. And y'all, okay, I'm kinda torn. I bought this, I think it's really cute. It's got this cross tie front, so it's really cute. White um, fabric with black and gray polka dots, and it's got this cute button detailing on both sides. And then it has those big billowy sleeves that I love. But something about this top, like I feel like it's not short enough to be a crop top, but it's not long enough to be a full top. And since I like really high-waisted jeans, it just doesn't really fit. And because of the button sides, it's not great for tucking in. So I knew this when I bought it. <laughs> But then I was like so in denial, I wanted it to work. So I was like, no, I think I'll keep it, not return it. I think I need to sell it. It's just, it's not, it's not working for me. This I will keep. I really love this top. This is Free People. It is a true crop top, unlike the Rana Gilpies. It's got this really fun embroidery and these big, again, billowy sleeves. And then it's embroidered on the cuff as well. And it's really kind of a swing top because it's got this extra fabric. This is going in the keep pile. This. I'm wearing this so often. It's free people. I don't know why striped tops, <laughs> it's like striped rib knit. It's really stretchy and it's really attractive to me to, for some reason. It's just like so easy for me to wear. So this is a relaxed day. Like this in a pair of jeans is really super easy to wear. Go keep this. Ah, another stripe. I'm kind of over stripes, honestly. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a striped crop top from Madewell. Maybe I'll just list this in my Poshmark closet for cheap, 20, 15 bucks. Take the best offer, but it is cute. You see the stripes? They're like, really cute stripes they're gray and then kind of uh stitched black and white whatever oh my gosh y'all so many more tops i'm it's getting dark <laughs> i'm getting tired talking about these clothes so i'm gonna do this off camera thank you for helping me decide some of these pieces um but i'm gonna show you tomorrow what i decided to keep maybe tomorrow morning i'll show you all the piles of stuff and then we'll go to my office steam the clothes and i'll do a little haul so, all right, I'm gonna go refill my wine, get my Bachelor podcast on. <laughs> Y'all watch The Bachelor, Bachelorette? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, cheers. We can get through this together. Love y'all. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Um, okay, so I went through everything in my closet last night and I wanna show you the bag. Here is the stuff that I'm taking to my office hopefully reselling. It's like a huge bag of stuff. And I also have a bag of shoes. Here's what I'm donating. A lot of this is vintage stuff. And I'm thinking about potentially doing some kind of mystery box for a vintage reseller because I also vintage my reselling. But remember that crochet dress that I said I was going to keep? I decided to get rid of it. And then there's just a bunch of other vintage pieces in here. I basically had to go through things like several times before deciding whether it was really worth it to keep it or not. And to be honest, I'm gonna show you my closet now. It's still kind of like, I don't know. I still don't open my closet and I'm like excited. 
There's still a lot of stuff I'm very meh about, but I feel like, you know, in order to have clothes, I kind of have to keep them. <laughs> I'll show you my closet, and I'm going to go do a mirror workout, which I might uh, show you all a little bit of as well, because it's so fun. I just got my mirror yesterday. I wish I, I wish they were sponsored, too, um, but no, I don't have any sponsors, but it's uh, so fun, and I'm really obsessed with it, and... Like I said on Instagram, it's like the first time in my life that I'm actually excited to work out. So, all right, let me show you my closet. Okay, so my closet looks like this and I actually really dislike it because you have to like slide both of these in order to open a part of it. And then in order to get to the other part, you have to slide both of them. So you're just constantly sliding back and forth. I would love it if I could just have two big doors to like open but eventually that'll change. So the way I've organized it is I put dresses back there, which I don't know how I feel about that. I just don't have that many dresses as y'all saw. And then I have sweaters here and they take up a good amount of room. And then I have tops. And as you can see, I have like a ton of tops, but I don't really like that many of them. And so, I don't know, that's something that, like, this is a category that once I get better tops, I'll probably get rid of a bunch of these. Now I've got skirts and shorts. I only have, like, a few skirts, like four. And then two pairs of shorts, really, that's all I have. And then a bunch of pants and jeans, and then blazers and these little jackets. So, and then my shoes. I got rid of a bunch of shoes, so all the shoes I'm getting rid of. So that should, hopefully those will do well. I don't really have that many shoes. I have, like... Three Madewell loafers. I love Madewell loafers. Two pairs of Doc Martens. And then not much else, so. I would love to have more shoes. But then you open this side. Here's all my workout clothes. Literally, like, nothing. <laughs> but I just ordered some on Poshmark, so. I got two tops coming in. And then, then I have this, like, middle section for, you know, pajamas and sweatshirts and underwear and purses and stuff like that, so. <sighs> Yeah, and y'all always ask me what lipstick I'm wearing, and it's almost always Sake Bite, and they actually discontinued this lipstick for some reason, but you can get it still on, like, reseller marketplaces, and it's a Sake color. It's, like, this purpley mauve color. Yeah, that's, uh, what my closet looks like now. It's, uh, not too exciting, but let's go work out, all right? And then we're gonna do a haul. I'm gonna show you, I don't know if I'm gonna show you everything I'm selling because it's a lot of stuff, but I'll show you the highlights, all right? Meet you up there. Okay, so this is the mirror here. Control with the app, so. Okay, starting this kickboxing workout. What's up, everyone? We get targeted at all times. photograph everything so I thought I'd show you some of the pieces gosh there are a lot here probably around 50 items or so I don't know what I've figured out is that a lot of my closet comprises of rejects from my reselling career and it's not necessarily that like I pick these pieces out intentionally for my wardrobe they usually have some kind of small flaw or I don't know for some reason maybe comps don't look good and so instead of admitting that I made a mistake and just like moving on and listing anyway I try to force myself to keep things that I probably necessarily shouldn't so from now on I really want everything that I put into my wardrobe to be really intentional I want those items to really bring me joy I want to really love them and cherish everything in my wardrobe because I you know I hope the same for people who shop my closet as well so I am not there yet though a lot of the items in my personal wardrobe are just still kind of there because I don't have anything else <laughs> to put there so I can see myself doing this process again in two to three months and and you know we'll see how this pandemic shakes out, but I might need to do it for my business in two or three months, but we'll see. So a lot of the things I've already shown you, but I'll show you a few things. I showed y'all this dress, but I really do love it. It's that free people dress. I'm excited to get that listed. Here is a kind of knit sweater top. It is, that's the new theory tag and it's come off on one side, but the real flaw and the reason I didn't list this because, once again, this was not a piece that I really put in intentionally is that it has a little armpit hole on the back. Like, but I think it's 100% wool, which I love. It's just this really pretty ribbed gray sweater knit fabric. Overalls in here. I'm gonna show y'all those. One of the thing, good things about this pandemic, very far and few between, is that it's forcing me to list things with flaws. So 
all the stuff that, you know, previously gave me anxiety to list because I really don't like listing things with flaws. I'm just having to push through it because I need to list things every day. And so, you know, all those items that I kind of pushed aside for later or just kept because I had flaws, I'm listing. So it's pushing me through some things some roadblocks that I had previously. This is a sweater that I actually did keep intentionally. It's really, really cute. I did thrift it, but it's a anthropology moth sweater, size extra small, really pretty oatmeal knit color. I love it because I love things with a mock neck like this. I think it's really, really flattering and chic. And then I thought the holes on the arms were really cute and unique, um, but I've just decided that I don't necessarily think this is the best color for my skin tone, so I'm gonna let it go. I have some workout gear here that has some serious flaws. Um, these have paint on them. So I'm just gonna list them really cheap and hope that, you know, people working out from home don't mind having a few stains on their clothes. Same goes for this. This is an old Madewell chambray button down and it does have a couple stains on it as well. I think you can see like this little kind of bleach stain. I have loved this top for so long. Like this is one that I wear traveling a lot too. It's just really, really comfy, but I'm deciding to let it go. The same goes for this Rails top. Rails is a brand that used to do so well. It used to sell like hotcakes, but now it's, it's cooling off a bit, but I understand why people love it because it's so soft. And this is really soft. This is kind of well-worn. I've worn it, you know, many times and the fabric is kind of, I don't know, you know how flannel gets that kind of like fuzzy all over it after you wash it several times, but it really just kind of feels even softer because of that. But I like this one because it's a cropped silhouette and then it has a tie, so it's really easy to wear with high-waisted pants. I bought that at Anthropology. I'm getting rid of a couple of Madewell turtlenecks. Um, this one I thrifted and it's a really pretty rust red color. I think it's an extra small. And then, I have a black one that is a size small and the reason I'm getting rid of these is because I think Madewell's turtlenecks are kind of boxy which I think is really cute on some people especially like with the French tuck you know with the half tuck in the front and then kind of hanging out the back but on me for some reason it just doesn't look good so I prefer like a tighter turtleneck. This is a brand, do you all know this brand? Flynn Sky. It, it does pretty well on Poshmark. This is an older label by them. But I thrifted this and then realized that it had a flaw. It has this little stain here. Let me see if I can get it. It has a stain there, just like a yellow spot. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. But um, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> Instead of listing with a flaw, which is a perfectly normal and fine thing to do, as long as you disclose it, I was like, oh, I'll just keep it. And then I brought it with me on vacation and never wore it. And that's a good sign to me that I'm probably never gonna wear it, but it's really cute. This really cute long sleeve romper with this little ruching on the side there. And I really think this would look really good against bronzed skin because it's this kind of purpley plum color and ivory. And I just think that goes really well with like brown. And then this is a piece that I thrifted for my boyfriend. He loves Ted Baker, but this is kind of a piece he was never really gravitating toward. It's a long sleeve polo, which would be good for someone who works at an office job, but my boyfriend doesn't. This again is a Lululemon workout tank. This is like older style for sure. Whenever you see this, I don't even know if they sell these anymore, but I remember buying this. I bought it when I was in college at the Lululemon store in Union Square, New York City. And I was so, 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 so excited. I loved it. I was like, this is the best purchase I'll ever make in my life. <laughs> Pay full retail. Um, now I'm letting it go. And I think I get attached to clothes because I associate them with memories like that. Um, these are Patagonia shorts that I actually bought on Poshmark before I went to Hawaii, I think, for the first time. They're just these little mini shorts. They don't say Patagonia anywhere on the outside. And from what I have learned, if it doesn't say Patagonia somewhere, it definitely has a lower resale value. So, like, if I were to find these at the thrift store, I probably wouldn't even pick them up. But I'll list them for, you know... $15 and see if anyone wants them. These are also a pair of Lululemon leggings and they have like this kind of really, let me see if I can get it, like chevron, herringbone chevron print. Uh, these are a size eight, but this is a Madewell top that I thrifted, size medium. It's a graphic tee, and I think graphic tees are doing really well because people are staying home, 
more casual, comfy, you know, type of outfits people are really gravitating towards. And this has a velour, I think it's velour or velvet lettering. Really cute, easy come, easy go. I think this one will do well for the same reason as this Get Lost and Find Yourself. I think I've sold this sweatshirt by Wild Fox before. And this is one I actually kept intentionally. It's really cute. I love the whole thing. And Wild Fox is so soft. I totally understand the hype. This I've had for a long time. It is an anthropology cardigan. It's got this, I remember buying this too. I bought it online when I was in college. It's got this kind of fuzzy, furry type of front. It's kind of interesting, unique. I've never seen anything like it. Sleeping on snow, size small. It has really held up over the years. It's one of those sweaters that can go through the wash and still look great. So I always really gravitate toward pieces that I can wash without having to worry about. And for sweaters, that's kind of hard. I don't dry it. That's one thing I don't do with sweaters. I don't ever dry sweaters. Okay, I'm excited to list these. These are Maywell. Aren't those cute? I think I might have sold these before. Not sure. These are size 28. Just these cute little patch pockets that are super retro. Exposed button fly, cut off. I think you can roll these as well. Really cute. These are a pair of Levi's. These were my favorite pair of jeans for the longest time, but they're not high rise enough for me. Like I really like super, super high rise, like 11, 12 inch rise. This probably has like a 10 inch rise, so. It's got a button fly, it's got some distressing. They're size 27, really good condition. These I bought and never ever wore. I bought them from Nordstrom Rack for myself. They're top shop, I probably didn't pay too much. They're size two, and they're these wide tooth, light blue corduroy, wide leg, kind of culottes with this, you know, super rolled hem. They do have a flaw, which was kind of disappointing because I've never worn them, bought from Nordstrom Rack, but this like black thread here. It's just a manufacturer defect. And then these wooden buttons. Cool, high rise, cute. Okay, exact same type of style. I also bought these for myself, never wore them. I think these are new with tag. These are like a hot pink magenta uh, corduroy culotte with this belt detail on the front, which I thought was really cute. It's kind of a paper bag fit, and then it zips on the back. And this is a brand I've never even heard of before. It's um, Adria Moss. I don't even know. I bought this at a buy sell trade store for myself. So we'll see. I don't. I haven't even looked up comps or anything. So we will see how that does. And then talk about memories. Oh man, y'all. I have so many memories with this skirt. It is, I bought this at a secondhand store in New York City before, when I was in high school. And it's one of my favorite purchases ever. It was like, it, it's a Dion von Furstenberg skirt. Cool chevron herringbone type fabric. It's really flattering because it really like hugs your hips and then flares out, super cute. But it's high rise. And then it has these little pockets in the front as well. There's a, oh gosh, I wish I could remember the name. I, I wonder if it's still there. There's a little secondhand store in East Village where they only sell designer pieces or hand selected pieces. And it is so cute. And you can find so many great things there. I probably paid like 40 bucks for that skirt or something like that, um, which at the time I thought was a steal for Diane von Furstenberg. I mean, I don't even think Poshmark really existed back then. No, Poshmark didn't exist back then, so. It was such a cool memory just walking around East Village. My sister lived there and going into these secondhand stores, these thrift stores. But, okay, so I want to show y'all some shoes. First, I've got these camper shoes. I love the brand Camper. I've had several camper pairs of Camper before in my life. I don't think these are gonna resell super well, but it's okay. Some, some can do really, really well. Uh, these have a super cool block heel, and these are like the comfiest sandals ever, which is why I've kept them for so long because they're really great to take on vacation because they really go with everything, and they're so, so comfy. And that's really the thing with camper shoes. I think all of these are gonna be a size nine because I wear a size nine. Maybe, maybe I forced myself into an eight and a half for some of these, but. I love Camper. It's a great brand to resell if you don't know about it already. This is also a really great brand to resell. It's Swedish Has Beans. You guys, do I still have some? I think I might still have some in my closet that are 
or I might have sold them, I can't remember, but they sell, they have a, they really retain their value well. They're super cute. These are kind of a funkier style. They've got the wooden heel, this leather upper, and then this kind of cool sole that's kind of funky, cute. These come with the box. They're not new, because I have worn them, I think, once. That's the wear from one time, that's crazy. But I bought them at Nordstrom Rack, maybe people wore them in the shoe, in the store. <laughs> Uh, they have the, this really, I think this is maybe a maple color upper, and they're this kind of Mary Jane flat with a stacked heel. And I can usually, I have really bad feet, so I have to be very careful about the shoes I wear, and so I can usually tell within one wear if I'm going to be able to get away with it or not. It's really cute though, super, super cute. If you don't have foot problems, or at least you don't have bunions like I do. <laughs> You can get away with these and they're so cute with uh, like an ankle, uh, ankle length uh, jeans. I kept these. These are Fry Slides and they're basically brand new. I've never worn them. I think they're worn in the store maybe. I think they have a leather upper. They say Fry along the strap here. Super cute. I brought them with me on vacation when I went to Mexico and never wore them and I was like, okay, if I'm not gonna wear them here again, when am I gonna wear them? I never. Uh, I also kept these for myself. I thrifted these. They have a little flaw there, which is why I kept them, but they're really pretty Steve Madden rose gold sandals. So I'll just list them, get them listed with that flaw and hopefully sell them for a little bit of money. I don't know if I'm really gonna sell these or give them away, but these are Halflinger which I think I've talked about this brand before because I really like to sell the house slippers by this brand. They sell really well. I have a pair of Halflinger um, slippers that I love, but these are more of a clog, open back clog, and they are, they have a Birkenstock sole. So I don't really know, maybe that's a collaboration or maybe they're associated with one another somehow, but I thrifted these and tried to keep them for myself, but they're just a wee too small. So. I can't even find what size these are. Oh, here they are. They're a size nine, but they're just a wee too small for me. Yeah, I guess I'll try to list these for something. And I love Birkenstocks. They're like one of my favorite shoes. So if these fit me, I would definitely be keeping them. And then I think I mentioned these earlier, but these are these Madewell GH Bass collaboration combat boots that I got for Christmas from my dad. Thank you, dad. But I am gonna sell them just cause they don't, they're too, again, narrow in the toe box. But for a normal foot, these would be fabulous. And I think they're really, really, really cute. They have a suede upper here and then a leather upper and then throughout the rest. Oh, they're just really cute. I'm sad I have to give them away. Or not give them away, but sell them. Hopefully comps on them are good. We'll see. But I think that's it. So thank you so much for, you know, joining along with me while I clean out my closet. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. More of a vlog, casual style video, but that's kind of what I'm, you know, feeling these days. It's very stressful, very overwhelming, I'm sure for all of us. So let's just have a little bit of fun, try to distract ourselves, you know, a little bit from all this chaos and just keep on keeping on y'all. You know, um, my advice to you during this season, the advice I'm giving myself is to Focus on the process, not the results. Sales have definitely slowed, in case y'all are curious, for me. And, you know, I'm just going to keep on pushing through because I know eventually we will make it out of the storm. I don't know how long it's going to take. None of us do. All I can do is just focus on showing up every day and doing my best. And that's really all you can control all the time. So, you know, usually kind of the results pay off a little bit more than they are now, but we can make it through this and just, especially if we lean on each other, I hope. Y'all are having a good day. I hope y'all are staying safe. I hope you're isolating, self-quarantining, and um, you know, getting some work done and being productive a little bit and just finding some peace and calm throughout this. But I love y'all so much. I care about y'all so much and I hope you have a good day. Okay, I'll talk to y'all in the next one. I'll be back soon. Okay, love y'all. Bye.